we will be talking about cells. There are two types of cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. We will be listing the main parts of a cell and its functions. This is a cell. The nucleus is the control center. It directs all of the cell's activity. Chromosomes are found inside the nucleus. Chromosomes contain all DNA or genetic information. The cell membrane holds the contents of the cell in place and acts like a gatekeeper, controlling the movement of materials such as nutrients and waste into and out of the cell. The cell membrane consists of a double layer of fat molecules. Most of the cell is a cytoplasm, a watery field that contains everything inside the cell membranes and outside the nucleus. The cytoplasm also stores waste until they can be disposed of. Each vacuole is filled with fluid. A vacuole is to store water and nutrients, such as sugar and minerals. A vacuole is also used to store waste and to move waste and excess water outside the cell. Lysosomes are formed by the Golgi apparatus to patrol and clean the cytoplasm. In humans and other animals, lysosomes play an important role in destroying harmful substances and invading bacteria that enter the cell. The cell wall protects and supports the plant cell. Some plant cells have a single cell wall, but others have a secondary cell wall that provides extra support and strength. Gases, water, and, and some minerals can pass through small pores in the cell wall. Chloroplasts are the food factories of the plant cell. They contain many molecules of a green chemical called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll allows plant cells to make their own food using light from the sun, carbon dioxide, and water. Animal cells cannot do this. The Golgi apparatus is a structure that looks like a stack of flattened balloons. This organelle stores proteins and puts them into packages called vesicles. The vesicles carries the protein molecules to the surface of the cell, where they are released to the outside. The protein in the vesicles vary on depending on their function. Endoplasmic reticulum is a series of folded membranes. Um, rough endoplasmic reticulum has many ribosomes attached to it. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum has no ribosomes attached to it and is a structure where fats are made. Both types of endoplasmic reticulum carry materials through the cytoplasm. Ribosomes are very small organelles. In fact, they are so small that they appear as small fuzzy dots even when viewed with a transmission electron microscope. Ribosomes use information from the nucleus and molecules from the cytoplasm to produce proteins. Proteins are needed for cell growth, repair, and reproduction. Mitochondrias are circular or rod-shaped organelles. They are often referred to the power plants of the cell. They provide the cell with energy. In a, in a process called cellular reparation, the mitochondria releases energy by combining sugar molecules with oxygen mo molecules to form carbon dioxide and water. This energy is used in almost every other function of the cell.